Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys the details for two upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings on the JP side of the game, namely for the STR Omega Shenron and also the STR Beerus. Now, as always, we got to give credit where credit is due. So allow me to give a huge shout out and thank you to none other than Goresh on Twitter for these translations. And without further ado, Let's jump into it. And we're going to start here with the unit that I feel like a lot more people care about. I mean, no offense to Beerus fans out there, but we're starting with the STR Omega Shenron EZA first. And as far as the new details go, his new leader skill is going to be STR Types Key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%, and his new passive is all enemies attack minus 40%, which is a pretty massive debuff, and he's going to be decreasing the amount of damage that you take from enemy attacks by quite a bit when he's on rotation, which is amazing. He also gets attack and defense plus 80%, so pretty easy A, all he got was attack plus 80%, so that extra defense should make him quite a bit tankier than before. And finally, he gives full power category allies key plus 2 and attack plus 40%, which makes him by far the best support unit for the full power category in the entire game. And that is basically the full de Oh, also he will massively lower at the enemy's defense uh, on his super attack as opposed to greatly lowers. So I believe massively is actually an 80% debuff, I believe. But yeah, that's pretty awesome too. So overall, I think it's a great, great Extreme Z Awakening. I know some people when they first saw this, were a little bit disappointed because they were like, yo, he's not getting a huge attack buff or something like that um, because, you know, 80% doesn't seem that high. But you got to keep in mind that he does benefit from the 40% attack here as well from the support side of his passive. So you can kind of think of it as attack plus 120%. And he's also going to be debuffing the enemy like crazy. He's going to be supporting your whole rotation. And just because he doesn't have like 150% attack or anything like that, it doesn't mean that he's not going to be hitting very, very hard. Because I'm sure he will. I mean, I haven't seen um, any calculations yet. Obviously, I haven't seen any gameplay yet. But at rainbow status, this guy should still easily be getting maybe 2.5 to 3 million attack. And um, that's pretty good to me, man. That's pretty good to me. Also, he's going to be making the entire rotation hit harder too, right? So I'm totally okay with this EZA. I'm totally okay with this passive. I actually really like this new trend recently of units being able to hold their own on offense and defense, but also be top tier support units, just like the uh, STR cooler that recently came out, right? So those are the details for the new Omega Shenron Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. And I would say hold off your final judgment until you see some gameplay, until you see some showcases or are able to test them out for yourself. But I'm gonna say right now, I do think he's gonna be very, very good, all right? So that is the STR Omega Shenron. And next up, we're gonna move on to the STR Beerus Extreme Z Awakening. Like I said, probably a little bit less hype for most people, but still very exciting, don't get me wrong, all right? His new leader skill is gonna be Tech, Int, and STR types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 50%, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they couldn't just make it all types, key plus three, and HP, attack, and defense, plus 50%. I mean, even in that case, he's still not gonna be a great leader, but this just seems kind of weird but anyways doesn't matter um a worthy opponent category he plus three attack and defense plus 30 percent on his passive he also gets defense plus 100 percent with a high chance of attack plus 200 percent so if you guys didn't know previously he only got high chance of attack plus 200 percent on his passive so if this passive did not proc then he was really really bad since he essentially had no passive right in that case so now even if the high chance of 200% does not proc, he still is a very, very good support unit for, I believe this is the physical Dokkan Fest Piccolo's category. So he's a very good support unit for that category. And he also gets some defense, so he can tank a little bit. And when this passive does proc, of course he's gonna be doing, or this part of the passive does proc, he's gonna be doing a lot of damage. 200% is an insane buff. And he's also gonna be getting higher attack with the EZA, right? So that 200% is gonna make an even bigger difference on his attack stat. So overall, really good EZA, just like the Omega Shenron. Um, I like that he's actually gonna be useful now, even when he doesn't get this high chance of 200% attack, which by the way, I believe is a 
50% chance to proc, right? So basically, in theory, half the time, every other turn, this guy will be hitting really, really hard. But even when he doesn't hit really hard, he's still going to be helping your rotation hit harder, uh, making it easier to get super attacks off and all that good stuff. So great upgrade for the STR Beerus. His super attack also now greatly lowers the enemy's defense. So that's a nice bonus. And that's all we know about the STR Beerus as well. So that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. STR Beerus, Extreme Z Awakening, and also EZA Omega Shenron. And both of them look pretty solid. Both of them, I'm sure, are gonna be doing a lot of damage. And uh, especially Omega Shenron is gonna be um, even more useful for other reasons, right? Like debuffing the enemy's attack, uh, massively lowering defense, being a great support unit, and all that good stuff. So that's gonna do it for today's video. That's all the information I have for you. I expect a showcase for both these units once they become available. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.